So today's essential is record MIDI to audio using impact in Studio One. First thing I'm going to do is bring in an impact. I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to bring in eight samples. I'm going to drag these ones to pad one down here. It's going to auto assign them. And all I'm going to do is the first pad is already assigned to stereo one. I'm going to select two, three and four for the bottom ones and I'm going to choose mono 1 to 4 for the top ones. Once that's done I'm going to go underneath impact here I'm going to right click or control click add tracks I've got stereo I've got four set up I'm going to give them a red color and make sure that the format is stereo no preset instrument I'm going to choose the first channel and make sure that it says ascending when that is ticked okay it's going to give you four channels there same thing again and we're going to do mono this time make sure that the format is mono no preset mono one is automatically assigned to that channel and ascending is ticked still so we can carry on I'm going to change the color because I never changed it so now I've got eight channels so at this point you want to group your channels just by pressing command G when all the channels are selected so if I was to hold shift and click on that last channel right click and then go to group selected tracks command G now when I click the channels they're all grouped together it's gonna to make it easier when you record so once you get that done you want to go to your impact and you want to turn off the record enable on the impact and you want to turn it on on the one that you want to record so I'm going to do stereo first so my stereo tracks are at the bottom here once that's done record enable is ready I'm going to press record and just record some drum hits you can see it's recorded there so I'm going to mute that one and I'm gonna record enable the mono I'm gonna pull up the impact same thing again the ones at the top let's go and there you have it recorded what eight audio channels all coming from the impact if you're happy with your recording you can go up to impact control click remove track an instrument and there you go